Hey everyone, welcome to another chess puzzle from Imagination and Chess by Gaprin Dashvili. <clears throat> this is white to move. As always, pause your video, try to solve it on your own, then we'll work on it together. Uh, so tomorrow we're going to switch to a new book. But we've got to do one more of these, and first thing I notice is the queen is tied down to the bishop on e6, so I feel like there should be some tactic involving that. Hmm. Uh, another interesting move is bishop g4. Just a simple, simple attacking move because um, the bishop's pinned if he takes it. Queen h4 and a rook e8. So I don't know, maybe bishop g4 just wins the game. I, I don't know what he's going to do about it, honestly. I think it just wins. I mean, if, if king g8, I'm sure this is like... <laughs> total annihilation. I mean, queen e5 or rook f1. I think it's just a simple trading maneuver, bishop g4. I think this ends things. Let's see if I'm right. I'm gonna just I'm just gonna leave it at that. I don't see any real defense for black. Uh, yeah, bishop g4 wins. So, you know, these are tactical, but they're not like, you know, you just do some fork or whatever. Sometimes you just have to trade the last defender, and then that's it. Uh, I'm just going to make sure I'm right according to the book. Yep, Makarov versus Kasana, two random GMs, and Bishop G4 just wins it. Uh, just wins the game. So, you know, because it's tempting to try all kinds of other things, but it's just pure logic. We get rid of this bishop, we have queen h6, followed by rook takes knight. So that is all. Thanks, guys, for watching. I do like these puzzles. Some of them are pretty short and sweet, but they're good for testing your kind of ability to see quick knockout blows. And I think later in the book they get tougher and more complicated. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.